Okay, so I've just been sent a super fast SSD drive and I wanted to do some speed tests on it and compare it to a few other things I've got. So this is a USB 4 portable SSD and it's 512 gigabytes in size. Uh, it comes with a couple of cables, USB A to USB C and then a 40 gigabit per second USB C to USB C cable. Uh, which is really nice quality. Uh, it looks great. Uh, it's supposed to be scratch resistant and drop resistant. It does feel very, very solid. I love the design on it. So let's get down to some speed tests. Now I want to see if I can run an operating system on my Pi 4 in a minute, but um, let's do the speed test first of all. So my Arcanite USB stick, which is a reasonably fast USB stick. Uh, let's see what sort of results it comes up with. Uh, so I've got Blackmagic disk speed test here, uh, which kind of never stops, but it uh, it shows you results as they go through and says what it's compatible with as well. So let's start that. Okay, so you can see the write speeds, 34, 35 megabits per second, not super fast. Uh, this tries to write a five gigabyte file and then read it as well to give an idea. Uh, and it'll also tell me what it's compatible with down here. So there's some very high end uh, video resolutions and it will show if it's compatible with those. So as time's gone on it's dropped. Uh, it was around about 36, uh, it stayed around 35 for really quite some time but uh, as you can see it's dropped right down under 30 now. Oh and we've come up with an error, that's interesting, wasn't expecting that. Uh, well let's try my Max drive, so if I eject this uh, because this Mac is a 256 M1 MacBook Air uh, and it's got dual SSD drives, so 228 gig drives uh, and it is lovely and fast. So let's press start. So you can see here, <laughs> a lot faster. Uh, and it also, apart from ProRes in 12K, uh, it seems to work with absolutely everything. And you get all these results down the side here of how fast. Okay, so that was bound to be fast. Now we'll try the Kingston M.2 drive plugged in with a USB 3 to USB-C adapter in the Argon 1 case. So let's select the drive, which is this one, hit open, and start to test the Argon 1 with an M.2 Kingston drive. There's obviously a bottleneck uh, with USB 3 because of, this is an M.2 drive, so it's nice and fast. Uh, the Argon's a nice, fast uh, interface but it's nothing like uh, the MacBook, and you'll see what the SSD is like in a minute. So it stayed above 30 all the way through, and we've got loads of things that it isn't compatible with, look. Uh, so ProRes 1080 ProRes is are massive file sizes, so that's fair enough. Uh, and let's see what the read speed is like. Still pretty slow, 38.6. I really expected it to be faster. And so on the read, it was 38.6. And now we'll try the Oroco drive plugged in with the USB-C to C cable. Okay, so select the drive. And we want this 512. And open. And start the test. It's really fast. For an external drive, that is amazing. So 1532, I didn't write it down. 1532 and then 2763. So you imagine and look at the compatibility as well. So we've got everything apart from uh, 12K60 ProRes, which is just full on. I'd never use that. And you can see that it's whipping through it. It is super, super quick. But this test is weird because it just keeps on going. But I think we've proven that it is ultra fast, right? So let's stop that. And if we go into my downloads folder, uh, say I wanted to copy this 2.31 gigabyte video, which was my most recent video. If I copy that to this 512 drive, look how fast it does it. I think it's done it. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. It is just like in a flash. That is amazing. Uh, and if I was to open it up, yeah, it opens up really, really quick. Right, I think what I'm going to do is write uh, Raspberry Pi OS and let it speed test within Raspberry Pi OS. Obviously, we're going to have a limitation because uh, the Pi 4 has USB 3 as its fastest connection, but I just want to see how fast it will respond. But that is, yeah, amazing. So if you've got really, really large files and you need to copy them over to a drive very quickly, what a brilliant device.
Okay, so I plugged the device into USB 2 on the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, the only reason I've done that is because uh, when you're writing an image, if you're running an operating system off USB 3, if you plug in another USB 3 device, sometimes it will crash the system. Uh, it just takes a bit too much power. So I'm going to write that, but before I do that, I just want to talk about results. You can see the Arcanite was the first test that failed. Uh, then my M1 Max internal drive, 256 gigabyte, uh, which is 228 gigabyte drives. Uh, the write speed was 1932 and the read was 2867. Uh, so, well, the M.2 is obviously very slow in comparison to these other drives, uh, but the Oracle actually stood up very well. Uh, so you can see here the write speed was 1532, so slower than the M1 Mac, but still very impressive for an external drive. And then the read speed, again, not very far behind, so 2867 versus 2763. What's more impressive is this Oroco is actually faster on write speed than an M2 MacBook Pro. Uh, so Max Tech did a test on why the M2 MacBook Pro was slower than the M1, and it's because they've used one drive uh, instead of two drives. So two drives working together uh, for an OS is definitely faster. Uh, but this SSD actually beats an M2 MacBook Pro. So 1463 versus 1532 for the write speed. And then the read speed, uh, the M2 MacBook Pro was actually really slow, 1446. The read speed on this Oroco drive is 2763. So amazing performance. It's a very good video by Max Tech, uh, and they show the difference. So you can see in this picture, uh, you can see the two drives in the M1 Mac on the right-hand side, and you can see there's a space where uh, they've only included one drive on the M2 MacBook Pro. And here's some close-up, so showing the two drives and the one drive. Uh, if you go for a bigger MacBook Pro, it changes because they do start using two drives. But I thought it was interesting that a standalone SSD drive could outperform the internal drive in an M2 MacBook Pro. So let's write an OS to this. Uh, so if I start up Raspberry Pi Imager, and uh, I'm gonna put 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS because that's what I do all my speed tests on. Uh, and because all the results are based on that, there's no point in changing. So you can see this one here, 32-bit, choose storage. Well, that's interesting. It doesn't actually show up as an external drive. I'll try doing this with my Mac. Okay, so it shows up on my MacBook, uh, but definitely didn't show up on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, well, hopefully the OS will boot from it anyway. So I'm gonna write it with this. So let's click on the drive and hit write, and yes. So it looks very nice in my casing. You can see it fits in, and the nice short cable that comes supplied with is very neat. And uh, as you can see, it's performing all the first time updates, so it's booting fine. Okay, so the speed test went very well. You can see here sequential write speed of 307,680. Uh, the pass it would need would be 10,000, so it obliterates that. Uh, 500 of the random write speed, and we've got 13,484. And random read speed, which was, I think, probably the best result of all, uh, 17,560. Uh, and the target is only 1500. This is based on an SD card, uh, the pass mark, so we don't need to put too much attention to that. Um, but uh, I have had similar results with an NVMe adapter with a Pi 4. Uh, in fact, the sequential write speed was faster on the NVMe drive. The random write speed was faster, but the random read speed, which is the one I always talk about because it's the most important one for running an OS, this Oroco drive has actually come out with the best result. So that is very, very impressive. Now I've just switched back to KDE Plasma because I remember that there's a theme that matches this drive and it's called Mondrian. So if I click on it, this is what the theme looks like. Uh, very stylish. I remember seeing it before because it kind of stood out and didn't look like anything else. Very impressive. So I'll include a link to the official website and if you want to have a look through all the stats and everything on there, uh, they are very impressive and as I say, it does look really cool uh, and all the details are on there. But there's other variations of this. Uh, they wanted me to mention uh, the 10 gigabit per second one. And I like the, uh, so the USB-C cable they show here is USB-C with a USB-C to A adapter, uh, which uh, I had two separate ones, but maybe mine's an early drive. So it talks about video editing, obviously file transfers and things like that. Bigger sizes are available as well. Works with all systems. 
and here are the different speed versions so you can see the model numbers here so I've got the 40 gigabit per second one um, but there's the 10 gig one so these are all USB 3.2 mine's a USB 4 but also various different sizes are available in it as well and if we go to Amazon you can see they've got various different versions on here uh, I couldn't find the actual version that I've got but uh, I'll see if I can add a link for the version I've got uh, and I also saw this which is unrelated but it is a USB to SATA adapter that looks like a compact cassette which I thought was very nice so anyway thanks very much to Orico for sending me this drive I'm really impressed with it it's lovely and fast it looks great thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe